beautiful people uh welcome to Ben's farm and uh today i want to show you something about uh, a tank installation uh the precautions you need to take when uh bearing these tanks and placing tanks on them so um uh i did a uh, uh tank stand uh which you can see it's uh, big enough with some good gauges so there is a plan of uh, extending this to uh, maybe a second floor so this is uh, the first floor which is around uh, let's say 10 meters high you can see this is uh, this is Cumberland the place is crazily 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 dry huh? but uh, there is a river flowing on that side uh, right there you can see it uh, there is a shamba on that side so this is the <clears throat> this is the stand it's big can fit around uh, four tanks of uh, 10,000 liters hmm? you can see the kind of gauges metal gauge which have been used have a look have a look so left here just to build a, a stairs kind of ladder kind of just to go down in the meantime we have done just a temporary ladder as you can see on that side uh, i was using those uh, poles and some two ropes to bring this tank up you can see the tank it's already up so guys uh, something happens eh? so when i was first doing this uh, i mean placing this tank right there so i did not uh, consider i mean removing these small stones see these kind of stones they're very dangerous these ones anything protruding is very dangerous very very dangerous for the tank because it's a uh, heavy it makes the when the tank is full it's very heavy so the pressure can I mean the stones in between can destroy the tank underground because of the of the pressure so guys before placing your tank you need to ensure that there is no stones all these stones need to be swept some needs to be swept you need to confirm any any protruding stone i mean the place is uh, very soft there is no protruding stone that is the mistake i did with the tank and as a result of that so uh <clears throat> The tank was punctured at the bottom, so I love to remove it there, push it on this side, check what happened to it. I mean, remove the protruding stone and uh, fill up with some uh, some sand. You can see I've already uh, done some. I mean, carry some sand tank to the top. I mean, sand to the top. So uh, I'm gonna move this tank aside. After moving it aside. Then I check the protruding stone, ensure that the place is very smooth and flat. Then pour some sand on top or uh, right there. Place the tank back. So I'm going to show you uh, at the end of the day, you're going to see the connection I've done with the, the PE, HDPE fittings. Together with this uh, other tank. Uh, whereby, um, same thing, I've already cleared here. I've ensured that there is no protruding stones. Uh, just to make sure we are safe and we're not coming back again to check how our tanks are not going to be punctured. So that is something you need to consider when placing these tanks on top of the stunts. That is if they are concrete stunts. Because uh, you might end up coming every now and then. You have to come on top and check why the water, I mean, the, uh, why the tank is punctured. So this leads uh, going back up there. I got some sealing tape. Where we're gonna use the sealing tape to seal out uh, the hairy cracks or the punctured areas. So guys, that is just for that, that's it for today about the the the, the tanks and uh, uh, the pro the stunts and uh, the tanks. Just be careful not to be coming. Crumbing is crazy and it's a dangerous place when you frequent going up especially uh like a 10 meter stand and all that so with this 
we did a very high uh, stunt so that it can give us uh, some pressure to push water to the farm on the other side whereby we have installed some uh, deep irrigation uh, drip irrigation system so this is gonna do I mean gonna use gravity to flow up to there I'm sure you've seen uh, you saw uh, in another video you saw what I was talking about about the landscaping as um, you can see from this side there's the Christmas trees uh, some other trees I can't remember the names so this that's the area I'm planning to do the landscaping as the tuk tuk I'm carrying the soil with. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, just a beautiful project, which uh, keeps you busy, and uh, I mean fulfills your other passion. Yeah, so with that's it from Ben Safam. Please subscribe and let's educate each other. Thank you.